Welcome to NBCR National Bike Circuit Racing Season 8, Race 7. Now I'm just going to get right to the race. This race is brought to you by NASCAR 6186. As I said, I draw four people to sponsor every race. NASCAR 2011 fan, Jason Marshall 5. And a couple of you also sponsor the bikes. Now, you're allowed to change bikes. And 48 JJ rules. So if you don't want to sponsor somebody anymore, just say. Starting lineup. Or here's the starting lineup. Starting last. Cameron Gilson. Starting fourth. We have someone who doesn't want their name to be said. So we won't say their name. We'll just call them 11. And another person who doesn't want their name to be said. Starting second. He is on probation and was docked 10 points after wrecking Cameron Gilson two times. Now, he's done that four times this season already. Not to the same person, though. There's your bull sitter, last race winner. Here we go, lap one of 30. Now, this is the best view you're going to see all day. Because my camera stand that I have on the bike wasn't holding the camera really good, so I took it off. Here we go, lap one of 30. You see the 11 cutting down into the grass, which she didn't cut down too much. If you cut down too much, you have to drop back. You see the positions change. Here they come to take lap two. James Gilson kind of pulling away. Everybody trying to conserve their energy. D11 still holding second, but here comes the four. And the 46, the two teammates. And the 39 went off the curb on lap one. Here they come to take lap three. See now the The 4 and the 46 still trying to get around the 11. And there's the 39. Okay, it looks like the 46 is up to second. The 11 is back in the fifth. She has gone a lap down. She is in the pits. The 39 still hanging back there to avoid any crashes. Which one just happened? And I'll tell you what happened. The 4 was trying to pass the 22, and the 22 wrecked himself trying to block. We start lap 6 of 30. Here's these bad onboard view. I did this for the rest of the race only because we wanted to get it done. Now the 11 is 3 laps down. Now you will see me. I was... <laughs> I will always restart fifth because I want to get a great view of everyone. First, we have the 22, second, the four. See a little change up from Cheyenne Raceway. And here's a really hard turn, which the 39 keeps falling off of. Oh, he did it again. And the 11 uh, went through the grass to avoid it. She's still three laps down. Lap 7 of 30, James Gilson. Sorry. James Gilson led lap 6. Now, whoever leads the lap before, you will see their number in first. It's kind of hard to ride with one hand, and the 4 had the lead. Um, The 4's move to passing James Gilson is die bombing it into turn 3. Oh wait, turn two, because this is turn one, and this is turn two. Now the 11 still three laps down. The 39 is hanging out right behind the 46, so we're going to go ahead and skip to lap 10, because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch... Tunnel laps of that. 
see the 22 making a pit stop. Now you're allowed to speed out of there if you do not advance your position. In fact, he stayed right where he was when he came in. Now, a lot of the times when you see someone during a caution, they're like fourth. Oh, ah. Whoa. Pile up. Looks like the 22, 46, and the 39 all involved. Here's a replay. This is the 22 trying to catch up to the floor. This is uh, slowed down by half twice. See, so just slides there. Ooh. 46 rams into him, then the 39 rams into the 46. 46 drops the bike. It lands right on top of the 22. And we're going to go ahead and skip to lap 18. And you see the 39 has not fallen off yet. <laughs> James Gilson led lap 17. Second was the 39. Third was the 4. And the 11, 9 laps down. She's kind of pitting and going back off. See, there's the uh, 39. He's going to make a pit stop. I think he's going to come out fourth. So there's the four. James Gilson kind of has a little gap in between them. Now that is one turn that you can't get like too wide into. Another one is turn two. I know one time, I'm not sure if we got it on video. <laughs> we tried to go four wide into it. The 11 had a oh, 22 in the wall. Or pole. Here's the replay. Now the 11 was trying to get turned around. She slid. But there wasn't a caution because she wasn't dangerous endangering the other riders. I'm not sure, but I think they touched. James Gilson really wants to win this race, but that was random because he has won two races this season, but not with that Reese's Cup Series sponsor. By the way, the Reese's Cup Series is a really cool series. I'm not in it, but I watch every race. You should go check them out. James Gilson, oh, oh, into a tree. Right on the restart, too. See, he tries to die bomb the four and hit that little dirt bump there. Just went straight into a tree. Here's the restart again. This is after we started. Now, the reason you see the 22 in first instead of third where he would have restarted is because they made a pit stop. And the 22 can get out of there fast. Now the 11 is now 15 laps down. Now I promised you in the All-Star Race, which is the next race, we will have a much better view of a track named the Tricky Triangle. Because it is in the shape of a triangle. And there's... One thing where you got to go up kind of a ramp to get into the off-road part of the track. Ah, oh, log jam again. 39 did a good job of avoiding that. Here's a replay of what happened. Something with the 22, he hit a brick. He hit one of those bricks. And then the 4 stops, 39 going off the road. Then 46, smack. Because I was using my right hand to control the camera and my left hand to brake. And my front brake does not work. Very good. Here's the restart. Six laps to go. First is James Gilson. Second is the number four trying to get the fourth win for FRM. And James Gilson got the first. Cameron Gilson the second and the third, so he's trying to get the fourth win for FRM. Now during the All-Star Race, the 39 will be number 99, 
and the 4 will be number 1. And the 11 probably won't be in it. Oh, there goes the 4. He did not cut in the grass too much. He's going for the lead. Could not get it. The 11 is now 18 laps down. See her on the side there. She fell off. Now there isn't... Cautions aren't going to be thrown for when people fall off. You see the 39 sitting back there. Waiting for the 4 to make a move and then he'll blow past the 22. Ah! 22 into something again. He's just trying way too hard. So Ford got the lead and he's going to try to die bomb it. But didn't time it very well. By the way, that left a big skid mark all the way across the road. Can't really see it in the video. Here's the restart. And I did the ticker tape because it's easier to see when we do this. Oh, the 39 cut through the grass way too much, but he didn't advance his position, so he's good. We go with two laps to go. 22 led, or got out of the pits first again. See the 11 still sitting there on the edge, 20 laps down. Here goes the 22 for the lead in the 4. Got him. Here we go for the final lap. You see the 39 going way down. Now he will get docked 5 points if he wins the race. Or not docked 5 points. He probably will get a penalty if he can win the race. You guys will decide that. Oh, he's off the edge. 4 takes first. 22 seconds. Here we go for the race to the finish. I will do this for every race now on. Just like that. Not if they don't want their name to be said. You will see it. Or you won't see their name. 46 giving the 4 a high five. And the 39 finally crosses the finish line. Here's the finishing positions. First is the number 4. Wants to be anonymous. Second, James Gilson. Third, Cameron Gilson. And fourth, Austin O'Meyer. And fifth, the 11, 21 laps down. Thanks for watching.